So greetings from the mountain path. This is Ravi Chandran. Let's discuss how to calculate swap in fixed rate today related to interest rate swaps. Let's recall interest rate swaps. Some basics. It is a question of a fixed rate payer paying a, a fixed rate of interest on a notional principle and receiving floating rate interest on the same principle on an agreed period up to certain number of periods. So a swap can be described as a fixed rate payer paying a fixed rates while receiving floating rates as per the swap agreement. You can also view swaps in terms of bonds, a fixed rate payer issuing a fixed rate coupon bond while investing in a floating rate coupon bond. Let's quickly take an example. Let's paying semi-annual coupon rate of 8% per annum every 6 months and receiving MIBOR plus 1% every 6 months let's say it could be a notional principle of $5 million for 5 years. Now the question here is how to calculate the, the fixed swap rate that the fixed rate payer is going to enter into the agreement. So how do you calculate this? First the requirement is to know that the spot rates or the zero rates. See what are spot rates or zero rates? Spot rates are nothing but the derived from yield to maturity of zero coupon bonds maturing in different periods. Let's take a quick assumptions here. Let's say for the next one, two, three, four, five years, and we are given the zero coupon bond and prices of different zero coupon bond bonds maturing in one year, two year, three year, four year, and five year. Let's quickly calculate the yield to maturity or the on a semi-annual basis, two into the rate function. We can use that. So we calculate the effective spot rates and for different periods of the zero coupon bonds. This next set, how to calculate the swap rate. The formula is simple, 1 minus the, the last discount rate divided by the sum of all the discount rates. So first calculate the discount rates. See here, 1 divided by 1 plus R to the power of 1 and like that you calculate the discount rates. Now using the formula, calculate, so 1 minus the last here, if you want to calculate the the swap rate for the 5 year term, so 1 minus and the last the 5 year discount rate divided by the sum of uh, all the, the discount rates. So that will give you and 5.17. So that will be the, the swap fixed rate the fixed rate party has to enter into an agreement. Now let's take the next example. If the time period is given in months, so let's calculate the 3 by 12, 6 by 12 in terms of the time. Let's assume the spot rates are given on a discrete compounding basis. So this is nothing but zero rates. The first step is to calculate the, the discount rates. So whenever you calculate the discount rates, so you have to ensure that is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus the discount rates multiplied by the time. Okay, and so you have since it is all and sub one year period so you can simply say here it is three month period so that is three divided by 12 so calculate the discount rate one divided by one plus the spot raise into the time so likewise calculate the discount rate now the question is calculate that calculate the two year calculate the two years and fix that spot rate so how do you swap rate so how do you calculate here again the same approach 1 minus the the two year rate that is a 24 month rate 1 minus the discount period sum of all the discounts up to the period and here and when you calculate and again you need to annualize it because these interests are given in intervals of three months so divided by three multiplied by 12 so you get an annual rate of 7.9162% Let's take one more example here. Let's say the interest rates are given in 90 days, 180 days. That means the interest rate are given in the intervals of actually and nine in the intervals of 90 days. So first calculate the period for calculating the discounting rates. So then and the, these are all the given rates. So how do you calculate the discount rate? One divided by one plus the the swap that is the zero rates multiplied by 90 divided by and 360. The next one is a 
180 divided by 360 that is 0.5 so calculate the discount rates the swap rate is here one swap rate for the what do you call and the two year that is a 720 days the swap rate for the two years will be and based on the given so one minus the last discount rate divided by the sum of all the discount rates multiplied by and 360 by 90 for annualizing since the period is given in 90 so we have to divide by 390 multiplied by 360 to get an annual interest rate of 6.35 percent so this will this will be the fixed swap rate that the fixed rate, fixed rate party and the floating rate party has to agree on the swap agreement thank you for watching so next session we will discuss further related to swaps